threatened him. I never threatened him. I just called him out on his actions. I never threatened him. And I've received death threats, thousands. It's very upsetting. It's very scary. I was, I was uh, denied and discriminated against. I, would, I didn't harass anyone. I called them out because I'm frustrated. Like I said, it starts with coffee, but it ends with mandatory digital certificates and the mark of the beast, all of that forced vaccination stuff. And you all know what I'm talking about. You've heard it all. I'm not perfect. I'm not saying I am, but I sure as heck didn't threaten anybody's kids or anybody's life. I didn't stalk. He agreed to take the picture. Wow. <laughs> wow. I was not expecting this. I was not. I clearly wasn't. So this woman, this woman here, allegedly, can I say that? Or it's kind of confirmed at this point. This Karen literally blew up so hard for not wearing a mask. And you know what's funny about this? I, I don't even have to read anything. I believe it through just the way she carries herself through the pictures. As they say, a picture says a thousand words. Like, look at this. Like, <laughs> This woman clearly has an ego on her. All of us do, but hers is so potent. You could just smell it from here. So in any news, apparently she got mad at my boy here because he told her to wear a mask. I mean, at the end of the day, ma'am, you got to realize this is a company thing. And from what I understand is from San Diego. So I'm pretty sure you got a mandate to wear a fucking mask unless you have a health concern. So you have two options present your health problems or wear the mask <laughs> and why are you going so hard on him he's literally the barista he's not the owner he's not the manager in fact she failed the bar for a karen usually you would ask for a manager because you know these kids are just doing it because that's what their job tells them to do like that's literally why they do this they could care less if you go outside and not wear a mask especially if they're at their own home but while they're at work that's just what that's just what they have to say so i don't know why you got so pissy about it and got pissy just to the point to where you took a picture now all that's just standard karen stuff i'm not even knocking her for it. i mean do do what you have to do to get your point across blah 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 call the cops yeah 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 we all heard the story before what i love about her is that she doubled down so hard so hard when she saw that he was getting tips from just outside sources like this dude was getting a donation pool from everyone you gotta love online right you just gotta love online to where you literally <laughs> can just receive donations for having a confrontation that someone else started that's pretty cool that's pretty that's pretty cool it's a it's an interesting time we live in <laughs> but then she has the audacity to say the money that he raised she wants to sue him for it or whoever made the uh, gofundme page because it's supposed to be defamatory and anything like that but Honestly, it's GoFundMe. Go fund this person in support of the trials and tribulations he sustained at Starbucks. I don't know. If, I don't know if you have much ground to sue that person on. Honestly, <laughs> no one's saying this crazy person destroy this man's life. Avoid her, whatever her name is at all costs. Like he's not doing that. He's just saying go support your boy uh, Lennon. Yeah, go support your boy Lennon. Uh, apparently had some trouble at Starbucks the other day, and I feel the need to help donate. In fact, I'm going to go donate because <laughs> just to see her so upset about it is just so funny <laughs> because she thinks she's entitled to it. <laughs> and over what, Starbucks? Come on. See, she's not even playing the game right. You could have literally gone and got a mask, got your Starbucks, and just get out of there, even if you don't believe, right? Like, let's say you don't believe because apparently she's supposed to be anti-vax. Not saying it correlates, but <laughs> you could probably put two to two together. But, uh, yeah, even if you don't like the mask, even if you don't think it's going to help the cause, just wear it. If you want your food, just wear it. Just for the one time. Like, I don't think that's going to eat your values down so much where it's like, haha, you have to submit to my cause. Like, honestly, Karen, it's, it's, oh, here, let me talk to you one-on-one. -on -one. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's like, it takes, what, three seconds to put it on, about ten seconds to muffle out your response, like, Give me, a, give me a country, please. Uh, with, no, with no cream and extra sugar. That's all you gotta do. Get your stuff. Thank you. And then go. <laughs> it's just that simple. But the fact that you had to go so far and beyond is just ridiculous. And now we all get to laugh at you. Like, uh, horrible. Now you're on the internet. This is just horrible. I know you take pictures. Apparently your whole thing, you're a photographer 
mom. Uh, what else? She had like an interesting title to her. She was supposed to be a, hold on if I can find this. You're supposed to be a mother, a photographer, yoga instructor, activist, artist. Like, yeah, like your whole, your whole persona is supposed to feed off the attention of people on the internet and your local communities. So <laughs> for you to get on the internet in this bold of a manner just shows that your ego and your delusions are so high up <laughs> that you don't realize what problem you just like caused. And simply you could avoid this by just putting on a mask and going about your daily, just daily life. But I guess that's the activist in you trying to <laughs> push it to us. And oh boy, oh boy, Karen, you got us. You got us good. So hopefully my boy Leon here, or sorry, don't want to mispronounce the name, obviously. Let's hope our boy Lennon, yes, Lennon. Let's hope our boy Lennon gets all the donations. In fact, let's all do each other a favor. I know it's a small channel, but hey, if you guys find the story, and if it's still up later on down the road, this man wants to dance. I want to dance with Lennon. Len, if you're hearing this, I want to dance with you. So let's get that up to a mill. Let's get your dance studio up. In fact, let's schedule an appointment right now. Let's get some dancing done because you deserve it, man. I know that dream, San Diego, it's hard. It's expensive out there, man. And you want to become a dancer on top of that? It's a hard road to climb. But you know what? I'm supporting that. I'll support that. In fact, I better be your first official YouTube client. <laughs> Uh, good looking out, Karen. Appreciate it. You're helping the world slowly but surely. In fact, all Karen's doing now. We could all go for it. We could all use a little bit of a donation. 